we're heading for crunch time. Now, I'm not here to prophesize doom and gloom, but what I am here to help you do is prepare for a correction. Yeah. Now, I've been in business for now over 20 years and in this industry for just as long. What I'm recognizing is we have just experienced the most non-profitable construction boom in recent times. Now, you'll know what I mean by that. We've got record levels of work. We've had government incentives to renovate, to buy. We've had businesses that have been supported to get through the last couple of years. That can't go on. There needs to be a correction in some way, shape or form. There's been businesses out there that have survived and thrived, in fact, despite themselves. You know the ones I'm talking about. You know the cowboys that are out there still with work because they've been the last on the list of people's opportunities to get work done. So here's what this short video is all about. It's all about helping you prepare for the leveling off and potentially a crunch time in the next 12 to 18 months. Make sure you are over your costs, yeah? Have you reviewed the cost to run your business on a monthly basis in the last six months? If not, you will not have noticed that petrol has increased, insurances have increased, salaries have increased, overheads have increased, running costs are going higher and higher each and every month. How are you adapting to that? If you're not passing those costs on to the customer at the other end, I don't believe you need to be wearing that. Yet, you need to be able to communicate effectively the increase in prices. You obviously know the impact of materials and supplies going up, if not on a weekly basis, sometimes a daily basis. Again, have you reviewed your pricing? Have you put some steps in place to communicate to the end user what those cost increases are all about? Thirdly, have you reviewed the cost to employ? You would have seen salaries go up, the cost to hire and retain go up. Are you passing that on to the end user in the cost to employ? Again, what it's requiring now is different skills as a business owner. Not just winning the work and delivering the work. Now is all about managing expectations. Yeah, you need to be able to understand your business numbers. You need to be able to communicate effectively to the end user, particularly if it's been a regular user, someone who you've worked with over the last 12 to 18 months or, the, or longer. Are they now understanding that you need to pass on costs to them? And are they happy with it as well? And the third thing we want to talk about here is understanding your contracts. If you're in relationships where you have contracts in place, it needs to be reviewed. If you're experiencing delays in materials and supplies, that's blowing out production times, are you covering yourself in that scenario? In a commercial space, more important than ever. Do you have special conditions that allow for rise and fall and extension of time? Again, if you haven't reviewed your contracts, it's almost like having an insurance policy in your business that you started seven or eight years ago that you haven't updated since. Our goal of ProTrade United is to help you protect your business and prepare for any changes coming along. Now is not the time to put your head in the sand. Now is the time to be proactive, to be on the front foot, to be one of the leaders of your industry, leaders of your field, a professional of your trade. So again, review your costs, pass them on. Review your materials and the cost to employ. Are you passing it on? And thirdly, review your contracts and arrangements that you have in place to protect yourself and also manage the relationships and expectations you have of the people that you're working with. All the best and if you'd like some support with any of that please be in touch.